Coach Glenn Mills is worried about Jamaican track and field. Paris Olympic silver medalist Ricketts is back in training. And the Grand Slam Track Summit is on the way. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. And if this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we continue to go. You let hit the notification bell so you know in the next video drops you drop a video at least once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button and finally leave your thoughts. And ready? Yep. Good to go. Well, first out, let me just say our new YouTube channel, Peter Lloyd World of Wealth, where we discuss all things finance. If you want to retain, to get to financial freedom, check out our new channel, Peter Lloyd World of Wealth, right here on YouTube. Now, she was the Paris Olympic Games silver medalist. And she was also the silver medalist in the finals of the 2024 Diamond League, Brussels Diamond League. That's the Brussels Diamond League final for 2024. We are talking about none other than the remarkable Shanika Ricketts. The triple jump superstar has announced that she is formally back on the track in training, getting ready for her 2025 season. She wrote, excited to resume training for the 2025 season. Now, you know she had a great 2024, as I said. Uh, the Paris Olympic Games walked away with that silver medal and came second in the finals, the final Diamond League final at the Brussels Diamond League in the women's triple jump. Lovely looking jumper. Only fourth in Zagreb's long jump last week. Oh, that's not bad. I'm super excited to see what Shanika... She's just getting better and better people. Awesome jumper. Let's see what happens for her in the 2025 triple jump season. Introducing Peter Lloyd World Merchandise, where style meets comfort. From trendy tees to cozy hoodies, we've got something for everyone. Elevate your wardrobe with our high-quality, fashionable designs that make a statement. Whether you're hitting the streets or chilling at home, Peter Lloyd World has you covered. Shop now and upgrade your look with Peter Lloyd World merchandise. Available exclusively at Peter Lloyd World. Link in description below. 400 meter hurdler, the remarkable Rochelle Clayton, as well as the 400 meter hurdler sensation himself, the remarkable Rashawn Clark and Akira Nugent, 100 meter hurdler sensation, are all, as we told you, signed to Michael Johnson's Grand Slam track. And they are, of course, attending, as we speak, the Dra Grand Slam track summit. Now, this is a series of track events slated for the 2025 track and field season. And I think this is a really exciting thing because it changes um, the... It, it changes the game, really. It's it's a different way of looking at track and field. And some people, like I said in previous videos, are a little nervous about this. So I decided to break it down. So here it is, the stakes. There are six race types with two races in each. Athletes compete in both the events in their category and accumulate points in each race based on their finish. There will be four contracted GST Grand Slam track races and four GST challengers that's f and four gst grand slam track challenges in each race the events are for both males and females and are as follows they continue so if an athlete is contracted as a short distance runner they will run in both the 800 and the 1500 meters athletes score points in both events which are added together points will be distributed 10 8 6 5 4 3 2 1 for first or eighth place the points create the final standings and if there are any ties then the lowest combined running time is the winner points and finishes do not carry over to the next slam these are the event types short sprints 100 meters 200 meters short hurdles 100 meters 110 meter hurdles 100 meter flat um, long sprints 200 meters 800 meters long hurdles 400 meter hurdles, 400 meter flat. Short distance, 800 meters, 1500 meters. Long distance, 3000 meters to 5000 meters. 
now these are the prizes in first place the first place winner will will win one hundred thousand dollars these are in u.s currency second place fifty thousand dollars third third place thirty thousand dollars fourth place twenty five thousand dollars fifth place twenty thousand dollars sixth place fifteen thousand dollars seventh place twelve thousand five hundred dollars and in eighth place ten thousand dollars in santa monica california at the grand slam track racer summit we have some of the fastest people in the world So I decided to break it down because a few people asked me how this thing would work. Um, it's a little complex, but the truth is that's a lot of money, people. The eighth place runner walks away with $10,000. So this is changing the entire game of track and field. And I can't see any athlete not signing to do this. I mean, this is very, very, very different. So, what are your thoughts about the Grand Slam track taking place in 2025? Changing the face of track and field as we know it. And what, how do you think this is going to impact like the Diamond League and all the other events? Because I'm thinking what's going to happen is, uh, it's going to have to force the Diamond League to pay a whole lot more money. It's, uh, this is changing the game in every way plausible. Um, but are all those changes good? I want to hear your thoughts. I want to big up today's sponsor, Yard Style Live, now featuring the remarkable Music Phil Reggae Show. So the Music Phil Reggae Show is now on Yard Style Live, today's sponsor for the Peter Lloyd World video. I'm your girl Purple, the Hot Five Chick, and the Music Phil Reggae Show is now on Yard, Yard Style, Style Live. Live. So go check out our sponsor, the Music Feel Reggae Show, now on Yard Style Live. Some say he may be the greatest male sprint coach of all time. And um, the truth is, given his rep, given what he has accomplished, I kind of agree. We're talking about none other than racers, tracks, remarkable Glenn Mills, the coach of Johan Blake, and certainly the coach of the great living legend well they're both living legends the world's fastest man um usain bolt world record holder in the men's 100 and 200 meters and he did also coach johan blake as i said earlier the world's second fastest man in both 100 and 200 meters so glenn mills is no is no like walk in the park so if glenn mills starts to express himself regarding track and field and jamaica i listen up now i saw this very very interesting article um, in the Jamaica Observer that I had to share with you. So I want to give all credence, all kudos to the great Jamaica Observer for doing this one for us. And I'm really just going to basically um, report what they themselves have reported. This, I think, is really, really serious news. The article's headline is, We Must Change Mills. That's a quote from Glenn Mills, of course. But I'm saying it, saying it this way. Glenn Mills is worried about Jamaica's track and field. And I think many of us privately are actually a little concerned. Now, this is what the article goes on to state. After witnessing a less than expected medal haul at the Paris Olympics in the summer, Racers Track Club head coach Glenn Mills believes a track and field in Jamaica could decline significantly if the Jamaica Athletics Administrative Association, the J3As, does not improve how it governs the sport. The island took home six medals during the games in the French capital, with four coming from field events. It was Jamaica's lowest medal tally since 20, two, sorry, 2004 Athens Games. Coach Mills, to quote, says, quote, We have to pay attention to what happened in Paris and what happened 
in the recent world on the 20 because they are showing the cracks and the symptoms that exist that need urgent attention if we do not attend sorry not intend to fall into the quagmire that west indies cricket has gotten itself into wow that's that that's a that's a serious comparison people i'm going to jump ahead um he says quote i have not heard any attempt to have a commission of inquiry or whatever you want to call it into what were the problems and the causes of such a dramatic drop in our medal earnings the standard that we have been able to maintain for several decades means this sudden drop requires attention he continues if we listen to stephen francis myself and uh, a number of players in the game we have been pointing out and crying out for things to be attended to but it has been falling on deaf ears especially a couple of interviews i've listened to with stephen francis a number of things he pointed out years ago is is now beginning to affect us significantly and this of course is true we have heard stephen francis and several persons talk about the leadership of the j3a's Glenn Mills continues in this interview, I can't recall us being summoned to any kind of forum where all the top coaches of the clubs are involved in a frank and clear discussion with the administration. Most of it has been through interviews and informal talks and discussions. So we find very little attention has been given to the points raised. So we continue to have the divide to repeat, so we continue to have the divide between what we think is the best interest of the sport and, and the athletes as against what the association thinks. Mills says that the coaches and leaders of the track clubs locally must have a greater say in the track and field program. To continue, Mills says there needs to be a greater interworking relationship or connectivity between the coaches, the club administration, apologies, I meant to say the club administrators who are the persons on the ground involved in working with athletes and whatever campaign or program to earn additional medals or increase performance. We have to be a major part in whatever planning and program that is going to be developed. Quote, too often the executives of these associations do not involve the membership in their day-to-day -day work and work and planning. Yes, they're the executive body and must lead, but you cannot have that disconnection, disconnect apologies because you will not have the kind of cooperation and unity of purpose that is necessary for success. He also believes the j needs a drastic overall with the growth of the athletics globally. He continues, the sport has evolved far more than what it used to be 20 to 30 years ago and therefore it requires a more professional and trained approach in running the sport which in the case of track and field we have international status of the highest level and unfortunately our administrative structure has lagged behind in the way we do things said mills quote we need to have the administration look at itself probably do an administrative audit if there's such a thing to identify what are the problems that exist and how are we going to tackle them because we cannot continue going into the world competitions and expect to get the kind of results that we need to if we do i'm assuming he meant if we don't end quote 
Now, those are very, very strong words coming from Glenn Mills, who is often very, very measured. He's the much more measured of the two. Now, I'm not saying that Stephen Francis, Coach Stephen Francis the Great, is not measured himself, but uh, Stephen Francis tends to speak, you know, without filter at times. I mean, he's respectful, but he says exactly what he feels. Glenn Mills has always been somewhat of a diplomat. So for Glenn Mills to be expressing something that I think many, many of the lovers of track and field, especially supporters of Jamaican track and field um, nation, are concerned about. Because yes, we have to be honest, um, six medals for Jamaica at the Paris Olympic Games was horrendous. I can be honest. I mean, you know, I'm a positivist, but we have to be honest. It was not what one would have anticipated from the greatest track nation on the planet. And he raises a very, very valid point. How come there's not been a forum of all the top coaches, as well as the JHVAs and the Olympic Committee and all these people sitting down and saying, okay, what the heck went wrong? Because clearly what went wrong was not just that some of our top athletes were injured. Something else happened. Um, we still don't know why Shelly and Fraser Price didn't run. We heard she was injured, but her, when her, her physiotherapist said when he got there, she had left on her own volition, which means that she could not have been as hurt as we. I mean, we, there's a lot of questions that we don't have the answers for. And I think it would be in the best interest of track and field on a whole, and all the players, including the J3s, etc., who I have the greatest respect for, for them to sit down and have an honest heart at heart to figure out what happened. He's also correct that even in the world on the 20s, we did not do as well as we should have people. That's just the truth. And we have to also understand that the dominance of Jamaica may be under threat because, let's be honest, a lot of other nations are climbing to the fore. St. Lucia uh, and others um, are climbing to the fore. Uh, so for us to maintain dominance and to become even better, all these persons really do have to come together. So the truth is, I um, I I a hundred percent endorse everything that Glenn Mills is saying because I know it's not coming from a place of maliciousness. He's speaking truth. He he's he's saying what we all need to hear. Because yes, Jamaica is to, in my humble opinion, the greatest rat nation. Given the fact that it's just it's not even three million of us and we have been so dominant throughout and we are not the wealthiest country in the world and we have managed to do what we have done, but. He's right. I was a, not was. I'm an avid cricket lover. So such an avid cricket lover, you have no idea. But the truth is, when I saw, when I witnessed the demise of the West Indies, it 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 broke my heart. So I have to say that in this instance, I agree with everything Glenn Mills is saying. But this, of course, is my two cents. So what do you think? Does he really have a right? To be worried because it's obvious that Glenn Mills is worried about Jamaican track and field. Now don't forget to check out our printify.com our merch store. I'll leave a link in the comments below. It will be pinned. And check out our new channel, Peter Lloyd World of Wealth for all things finance. If you want to achieve financial freedom, check out that uh, channel. New video will be up tomorrow on that channel. And uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, and hit the like button. And I have to say big up to our sponsor, Yardstyle Live, which now features the Music Field Reggae Store. Show. <laughs> Remember, you are royals, kings and queens. Bless up.